Hello, boys, girls, ladies and gentlemen, beginners and experts. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all. I'm so excited to have you guys here today for another Function Friday from QTPTutorial.net. If you don't know yet, last week I decided to start this event where every Friday I'm going to create a useful function for everybody to be able to use for the rest of their automation careers. And if you didn't catch that video, you can go ahead and watch it. It was my very first one, and today we're on the second one. Anyways, so I'm so excited to have you guys here, and I'm so thankful that you've dedicated another 20 minutes of your day to watching my videos. I sincerely appreciate it, and I hope to teach you guys a lot today. So, let's go ahead and get started. The function that we're going to create today is going to be super useful. I'm going to call it... We're going to call it Clear Firefox History. Because this function, what it's going to do is anytime you open up a browser as a Firefox in this case, you can go ahead and clear its cookies and its cache and any other history you want. And it's very important because when you're automating, you need to clear the cache and browsing history because it can mess up the application flow whenever your applications are under development and under testing. So let's go ahead and do this manually so you guys can see the process. I'm going to open up Firefox and what we have to do right now manually guys because there is no way for QTP to recognize these, this toolbar that I'm going to show you is we have to do this. We have to go to options and then we go to privacy and then we click here, clear your recent browser, clear your recent history. And then we do clear now. And you see it's going to clear all of this now. All of these guys right here. This is what we have to do manually every time if we're testing some application. It's highly recommended that you do this every single time you open up your browser. If you want to have a very valid test and make sure that cookies and cache and so on is not messing up your application flow. So that's what we have to do. Okay. The other method is a shortcut to do it is to do control shift delete. And if I hit those keys together, I get this dialog box again, same thing. And I can go ahead and say clear now, and it's going to clear, but let me open up QTP. For QTP to recognize this toolbar, it's impossible. Do you guys see that? I'm pointing to the toolbar. All can recognize the browser. It can recognize everything inside of the page, but it can't recognize this toolbar. You can't access this. And so this function is going to help you guys clear your history. And I've decided to use this function today to expand on last Friday's function. If you remember, last Friday we learned the past keyboard keys. And it's a very useful function, but you have may been wondering, when do I use it? And today I will show you an excellent usage for this function. And so it will kind of tie both of the pieces together, hopefully make everything much clearer for you guys. So now that we know the manual process, let's go ahead and design the function, right? And we can open up our QTP here. I already got the function from last week. It's here because we're going to use it. So I want it here. And just remember guys, all the code, it's on my website, qtptutorial.net. You can go on the function Fridays and get the code there, or you can just go ahead and sign up with the email 
and I'll send you the code every single Friday so you never even have to worry. You'll just get it in your inbox and then you can go ahead and start using it because it's going to come with an awesome description like this that will be very user friendly and hopefully make it easy for you to understand. Anyways, let's write out a few steps, guys, so that we know what we did manually and we're just going to convert it into code. So first we need to open the browser, right? Then we need to make sure that the browser is in focus. Next, we need to press control, shift, delete. And this will open up that menu that allows us to clear everything. After we open up that menu, let's see what's going to happen. Hit control shift, delete. So now we need to select everything and we then we need to hit enter, right? So let's do it. Select everything. Press enter. Let me comment. Okay. After we do that, we're going to close our browser. And that's it. The cache is cleared. Okay. So let's go ahead and write some code. I'm going to create a sub and wrap all of this in a sub. Okay. So some of you guys may not know the difference between functions and subs. It's okay. I'll get a video out on that shortly. It's very important distinction. Anyways, let's give this function a name. Okay. It doesn't take any parameters. I'm going to cut all this. Paste it in here. How do we open browser, guys? Like that. And in this case, we're passing Firefox because we want to open the Firefox browser, right? So now we want to make sure that the browser is in focus. But so now we open up Firefox. Let's first make sure let's synchronize, right? Sometimes you guys may have a slow internet connection or something like that. And we need to make sure that the page syncs first, okay? And so here, I'm going to do a little bit of descriptive programming. So this line right here can be applied to any browser. Any browser that you open first, which hopefully should be the first one. And then we will apply all, this me all these methods to it. Okay? So now we can go ahead and sync it, which we did here. And now let's make sure that it's in focus. Activate method. A undocumented method. Okay. Now we're going to do press, control, shift, and delete. And here's where we can use our awesome function that we created last week. Check it out. Grab the function. Paste it here. Let's see, so int number of times that I want to press some key. I want to press it one time. And then I want to press Control, Shift, and Delete. So you may wonder, how do I write these Control, Shift, and Delete keys? Well, let me show you guys. It's very easy. So you can just go to Google. And then you can type in Send Keys. Hit Enter. And you guys get all this stuff. I like this Microsoft website right here. And it will show you all the code to use for a certain key. So if I want to press Control, it's down here. I give this symbol. And then Shift is a plus. So let's try it. Control. Shift. And then what's delete? Let's check it out. Delete is right here. Like that. Okay. So let's grab this. 
Pretty simple, huh? You don't have to worry about anything. Don't worry, guys. I have not memorized all of these keys. I just, anytime I need them, I go to the website, Google them, insert them, piece of cake. You don't have to memorize it. It's no big deal. Now, we need to select everything. So again, we're going to use our awesome function. Just copy this line. I'm going to paste it right here. I want to press it one time. And look, you can even pass strings to it, as we learned last week. Let me make sure I can spell correctly everything. And then we want to press Enter. Again, grab the function. And what is Enter? I know it, but I want to show you guys how to figure it out. Enter is very easy, like this or this key. I'll just grab that guy, much shorter, put it in here. Okay, press Enter, and then how do we close our browser? We close it by selecting this guy. And we do that close. That's it. And our function is done. So let's go ahead and use it and see what happens. To use it, just going to grab it, paste it right here. And as long as the test has a linkage to your function, whether it's in the script itself or in a function library or some external file like a VBS, we can use it as long as there's a coupling between the test and the function. And in this case, there is a coupling because it's in the script. Although we don't usually recommend you keep your functions in the script, this is just for example, okay guys? So anyways, let's go ahead and run it. Let me close the browser. I'm going to come here, click F5. That's the shortcut key for running real quick. We get this dialog window. Let me press OK. Not going to touch the mouse. We're just going to sit here and observe. Oh, OK. So Firefox is not supporting this method. No problem. We can just comment it and try it again. Check it out, guys. I'm not doing anything. So did you see that? It opened the menu. It hit enter. And now it's going to close the browser. And that's it. So one bad thing that happened, I noticed, is the browser did not close. And why that happens is because this send keys method from the shell object, it's too fast for the system sometimes. So you have to make sure you synchronize. So in this case, let's go ahead and put a wait statement of two seconds. Synchronize. Okay, and let's try it again. I'm sure it should work this time. Run it again. Push F5. Okay. Look, it's doing. Now it's going to hit Enter. Cleared. Now it's going to wait for two seconds and it closed the browser. You guys see that? With proper synchronization, everything should work fine. All right. Well, that's it for the day, guys. Super simple function, but very, very useful, I promise you. Use it every time you're doing something with Firefox. And it will help you to be a much more efficient automation engineer. And again, remember, this code is available on my site, www.qtptutorial.net. And I wanted again to thank you guys for taking 15 minutes out of your day to be here with me. It's such an honor to have your time and to teach you guys everything that I know. I really appreciate it, and I hope that I'm useful. Leave me any comments or feedback and anything that you want to see. I'm here for you guys. I'm here to help, okay? So I will definitely see you next time.
for the next Function Fridays. Thanks and have a good day.